It might be way smaller than a full stop, but this little pest can cause large-scale devastation to Australian grain crops. What we're talking about here is a pest called the red-legged earth mite. It's a very small mite, but it occurs at incredibly high densities in the soil. It can occur at densities up to about 10,000 per square metre, so you can imagine what sort of density that means from a plant point of view, which of course means that when a crop's coming up, it can actually decimate that crop quite quickly. The red-legged earth mite attacks a wide range of crops, damaging leaf tissue, and is especially devastating to newly emerged canola. Although it was first detected in Western Australia, it's now confirmed in most grain growing regions across the country, and researchers believe it's still spreading. The line seems to be around Dubbo, although um, recent evidence suggests that the mite is expanding its range inland as well as in a northerly direction. So it's pretty much spreading towards the Queensland border at the moment, that's what we think. The damage caused by red-legged earth mites currently costs the Australian grains industry tens of millions of dollars a year. To control the mite in grain crops, four chemical subgroups are registered. However, resistance to organophosphates and pyrethroids in red-legged earth mites is widespread in WA and present in parts of South Australia. So typically what happens is that a grower might suspect there's going to be a mite outbreak. Um, they might even do a preemptive spray. And then, of course, they might still get the outbreak of the mite occurring, and then they wonder what's going on. So the first thing they might think about was that the spray wasn't effective, there was something wrong with the application. So they might put a second spray on, and then, of course, the mites might still continue to persist. And then, of course, you probably have a situation where you have a resistance problem. To understand and combat this resistance, GRDC is investing in genetic research at the University of Melbourne's Molecular Science and Biotechnology Institute, Bio21, using the latest DNA technology to determine how the resistance occurs and spreads. Are resistant mites being carried long distances across the country via wind currents, in soil on machinery and in fodder? Or is resistance developing locally through individual evolutionary episodes? So these days what we can do is we can effectively fingerprint, if you like, the mite. It's a bit like fingerprinting humans. You know, you get this amazing picture, if you like, of what the DNA of a mite looks like, and that allows you to understand the relatedness of one mite to another mite, or one population of mites to another population of mites. And the latest results of this advanced DNA research are very significant. The resistant mites in one part of the country are totally different to those in other areas. So effectively that indicates that resistance outbreaks locally and is not spreading across the country or even across the states. So it's very much a case that what you're doing locally affects the rates of resistance evolution. In fact, the research shows that the resistance that can develop in a red-legged earth mite population is so localised, it can emerge in a corner of one farm and not be present in other areas of the same property. This makes it critical to use the correct management of pesticides and crops on individual properties. So if you've got resistance to pyrethroids, then throw in a few other pesticides. If you've got resistance to organophosphates, then again think about the same sort of issue. It's very significant, of course, because it tells you what you have to do to manage resistance, and it tells you that you really need to think about what's happening locally rather than across the nation. Advanced genetics researcher at Bio21, Chong Yang, is focused on the DNA of the red-legged earth mites to determine the patterns of resistance. Studies compared mites from different regions across the country, but also across smaller sections of individual properties. We extract the DNA from the insects and then we cut the DNA into a very small uh, fragments from our analysis. We can get the conclusion that the resistance can only spread within a very small area, so they cannot uh, spread across uh, the regions across Australia. Research partners CESA and WA's Department of Primary Industries and Regional Development have developed the Resistance Management Strategy, currently available on the GRDC website. Techniques include varying the use of insecticides, rotating crops, using controlled grazing to reduce the feed on offer, controlling weeds along fence lines, timing the spraying of insecticides to maximise the effect on the pests, 
and the use of registered seed treatments. This latest research shows that adopting that strategy should work effectively on individual properties because any resistance in red-legged earth mites is not coming from other locations outside that property. This is also important for extending the longevity of our existing chemical sprays. And what we want to do is we want to make sure that these pesticides that are obviously cheap and have been effective are going to maintain their lifespan as long as possible. So by stopping resistance evolving, we of course are then extending the lifespan of those pesticides that have been very effective in the past. Research on individual properties is proving that isolated pockets of resistance can sometimes occur along weedy fence lines and might be able to be contained with the correct treatment. So if, for instance, you've got resistant mites in a fence line, then keeping it in that fence line may well be possible um, instead of it spreading out into your field. Researchers say the work is far from over. They need to keep tracing pockets of resistance and also investigate new ways of controlling the spread of this tiny but highly destructive red-legged earth mite. Go to the description bar below for the latest information, links and resources.